here. So in this video, you're gonna see how karate's low, middle, and high block are used at clinch range for striking, trapping, and framing from a self-defense and combat sport perspective. Stay tuned to the end where we break it down and see further examples of its use. So before we dive in, just to give you some context, I visited Philadelphia in April 2023. This video footage is from a collaborative seminar uh, I did with Master Solona from Revolution Martial Arts Institute. I had a blast with Mike, uh, his team, and touring a city. Philly is such a cool place, great sights, and a hub for boxing, uh, one of my most favorite sports. Uh, karate has a whole slew of blocking techniques called ukikata. Actually, it's translated to receiving techniques. Many karate instructors have different takes on how this is used correctly and incorrectly. I say as long as you're having fun, training for a specific purpose and testing that purpose regularly, there's no right or wrong way to use it. So here's a few examples of how Mike and I use them. Let's get on with the video. To hit him, I have to clear this off. So okay. using the downward blocking motion, oh, let's get down. whether I go it uh, straight against the wrist and I clear that down that way or if he's doing this more dynamically from a push or a grab or whatever and I and I use it with the, the parry and then I nice. trap that down All right so either way using the Get low done. block motion or as we say in Korean hatan maki hatan maki um, two uh, two variations of clearing this obstacle so that I can hit him nice All right. pull into this arm this arm bar motion there's my cross, and then there's a return. It's like bam, 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 hit, bam, bam. All right, so after I'm bringing him down, I'm using that wind up and then smashing him again. So I'm here, he's holding on to me. I want to free this up, so I'm here. It wouldn't make sense to come up here unless maybe I get him with the point of the elbow, but why not just hit him here? And I have that middle block, you know, inside the outside motion. You got a beautiful throw right here. <laughs> right. Two. Yeah. So, sorry. All right. The other thing some of you may have noticed that when you do that initial, that initial crash down, if you get that, that movement in here, how many of you felt the possibility of having that guillotine? Mm -hmm. It's there if the person, after you hit them, they're in, that, they're in that position. So always thinking about the next step. All right? So now, play with not just the rising one, but carefully the inside, outside one. When I practice this with my partner, I feel it's easier to do the technique and do this initial one kind of hard so you get the sense of how the person's body reacts if you did this live speed. You just can't really, without protective gear, you can't really practice this one live speed without cracking your, your, your partner. Can I add something real quick? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Sensei mentioned it already, but I uh, just want to elucidate it. So you get that slam and depending on how it, how it reacks, that middle block, uh, my, my, my sensei of, of this style, he, he calls it a compound movement. So you use, it, it, you use everything. It's like a coconut, right? You cut it open, you can eat the inside. You use the outside to, to wash things. And you use, so you use this whole motion, right, like this. Um, sensei talked about this, right? So you slam down on, on this. This elbow is here. As you do in that middle block, if he's really close, depending on how hard you hit or how he reacts, you've got this elbow here. Boom, as you do in that middle block, you mm -hmm. slam this here, and then this might not be, you might not have, you might not, now that you, you might not be able to use this as a hit, but then you can use this as a wrap, mm -hmm. right? So it's all good. I mean, this motion here gives you that strike, that's boom, that strike, and then, that's neat on there too. yeah. Or you can do a strike and rebound, so say he hits and moves back, because ch chances are he's gonna hit, then that, you've got that spot, yeah. boom, right? And that's the same as this too, right? Yes. Yeah, I just wanted to share that. And notice, Common theme. Yeah, cross. Yeah. All right? Yeah. It's like, why, is, why does this happen so many times in all of the basic moves? All the Here. Or Makis. Here. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Play with that. Play with those two. 
Like you can do this one where the hands are just on you. Um, this also works off of, off of grabs. So I'm monitoring this. He has, he has my sleeve right now, so I would have to deal with this first. So I'm here, I'm collapsing down this way on his arm, and then I'm hitting him up under the, the jawline. Be very careful when you do this with your partner. If you do this, this technique hard, it's gonna have a whiplash effect on his head and his neck, thus making the, the target area a little more exposed. And I'm still holding on to this. So again, you can do it from just the hand being on you. You could do it from a, from a sleeve grab or a lapel grab. I'm slamming down here and then hitting him this way. And then you can have whatever follow up, follow up you want. So I'm crashing down on the arm as I'm holding on to this. And then I'm using, like a lot of people, they're just like this way, but utilizing those traditional footworks where I'm, it's not a front stance for the sake of being a front stance. It's a front stance for the sake that I'm, I'm putting my body weight into the movement because I want to I hit him with maximum force. So dropping my body weight down on the arm that's holding on to me, and then I'm slamming it as I'm maintain, maintaining control of that arm. You can put in elbows too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do that. Cross. He's going to know that that's threatening, and he's going to defend that somehow. So... And I'll show where the connection is to this. So in order for this one to work, how we're kind of standing upright like this would be very difficult, especially as a shorter guy like me. So in the scheme of like us moving around and changing like different levels and stuff like that, um, that's when you might be able to employ this. So look, I'm here, I'm a cross side collar. What I'm gonna do with the opposite hand is I'm gonna get the collar on the back of his neck here. My one hand is roughly about where, like my thumb is about where his ear is, and the other hand, I'm just kind of holding on, on, on top this way. In order to do this, I'm not, I'm not just trying to put my elbow above his head because that, that would be too difficult. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm gonna use my position and my stance, and I'm gonna angle step out this way as I turn my body and just lift my elbow. Once my elbow clears his head, I'm using this, this motion here with this hand and this motion here with this hand, and it's a push and a pull. So what I'm doing, once my hands, and I'm just gonna let go so that he can get out. So my position here is this, using that rising block or high block motion to affect the choke. So there you have it, karate's three ukiwazas utilized for striking, trapping, and framing. The ideas that Mike and I demonstrated are just a small example of how you can use it in a sport and self-defense situation. Uh, when I think about it, the whole framing idea is demonstrated best in combat sport and combatives training. Check out a few examples. Boxing champ Floyd Mayweather uses frames regularly in his defensive arsenal to set up shots. Top boxing coaches and MMA coaches use frames as well for setups and to mobilize yourself around the opponent. In self-defense, it works well as a wedge or block to mitigate direct force coming at you. Here, coach friend Mikhail Mulder utilizes frames to escape or compromise position, create space, and strike. As you can see, studying your karate through the lenses of other arts, sports, and combatives is crucial. This is Karate Unity. That's it guys, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, click on the notification bell, I'd really appreciate it, leave a comment, and if you don't like my material, that's okay, the internet is a great place, a big place, I hope you find what you're looking for. All the best, peace.